What's up guys? This is a Twin Flame update for September 20th. I'm reading the energy on September 19th for September 20th. Not necessarily the day that you resonate with it, but um, my readings usually have like, you know, a lag of a few weeks sometimes um, or more. But if we're receiving this energy at this time and this information, it is for a reason. This reading was brought to you by AshleyGillard.com. I do. I love to do business readings. So if you have a business idea that you would like um, spiritual and business strategic advice on how to execute it, click the link in my description, AshleyGillard.com, and I'll be happy to deliver a message for you from Spirit. Today, I'm just gonna pull. I'm gonna pull some or an oracle card or two, whatever comes out from Rumi, and I'm also going to. Pull some cards. If we get the same message, I'm just gonna start digging deeper and ask the spirit questions because we get a, I get a lot of the same messages. It's it's the storyline of the feminine being put in a position of power and authority and a following and spotlight. Masculine energy is coming towards her. Some of them she shouldn't take. And then there's a difficult decision on many good options available to the feminine. And I'm saying her because maybe it's a her. I don't know. Many different options available to the feminine. And then um, not knowing which one to choose. Then making a choice. But also feeling hardship or feeling a burden. Feeling sad about that choice because you're letting go of one person and leading, you know, and moving forward towards good times and happy endings with someone else. Or happy beginnings with somebody else. So if I get that same story... I'm going to ask Barry some questions because if I'm getting the same story, it's a reason. Oh, what came out? Sacred Convergence. Ooh. I love. Look how beautiful that card is. Sacred Convergence. Number 11. Spiritual Completion. Well, Spiritual Completion is number 7, but number 11 is Enlightenment. Ooh, Commitment. Oh, we know what this is about. So with the commitment and sacred convergence coming out for the Oracle, this is coming together as a union with your partner, with the dualities of yourself, but also with your partner being committed to the process, being committed to the union, and finally making that commitment to each other. I love it. I love it. I like it a lot. I love it. The, it's already a little different, the message. Hmm. It's time to come together, people. It's really time. How long have you guys been on your Twin Flame journeys? Um, I've been on a spiritual journey, let's just say that, for a few years now, maybe four. Of course, our whole life is a spiritual journey, but specifically more intentional for like three or four years. Um, Twin Flame, when I started you know, understanding Twin Flame and it became a part of my spiritual journey, was later down the line. And it's been a ride. It really has. I'm not, I'm no longer stuck on like a person, you know, I have, you know, an idea of who I thought in the past is my twin flame or a cook who could be a good spiritual match for me. But I'm no longer stuck on like a specific person being that for me. I'm open to universal connections and knowledge and spiritual connections that I, I, I'm unaware of. So, but, um, yeah, how long have you guys been on your journeys? And I hope you're out of the phase of chasing or thinking about a specific person. I just dropped some stuff. Um, thinking about a specific person. I don't know if I want to take these cards the way they just fell out. Um, but I'll take it. So we have the strength card that was on the bottom. And we have the ace of wands, the knight of pentacles, and the eight of pentacles. Something is about to put us to work. So, the strength card I'm getting remain calm, remain peaceful, remain in a tranquil state of peace. Um, show some restraint. Uh, have strength. But I'm getting peace from this card. Almost temperance vibe, but I'm getting more peaceful vibes as things starts to manifest the ace of wands i feel like out of the blue things are going to change and put you to work so this is about masculine energy being put to work and i'm not talking about externally like from a partner i believe this is a feminine being pushed pushed into masculine energy 
um, just by being blessed. By being blessed and, and opportunities and new beginnings coming towards the feminine and back again with these computer issues. <laughs> anyway, so out of the blue, the feminine is going to be extremely blessed. Opportunities flowing towards the feminine that's going to, you're going to be put to work. But it's happy work. It's, it's like, you know, it's something that you want to do. It's not like pressure. It's like, it's pressure, but it's like something that you've been waiting for. You get these opportunities out the blue and you're extremely blessed. You may be wanting these opportunities now. I know I do. Um, but spirit is saying remain calm, show a strength, be at peace, knowing that it's all coming towards you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this card too. It reminds me of the tribe of Judah, um, the, the children of Israel. It's like what's about to happen is meant to happen. What's about to happen is destiny. It's 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 um what am I trying to say? It's meant to be. Let's just drop. We have the moon and the king of pentacles. Hmm. More masculine energy. So again, it's just out of the blue, unbelievably blessed. I'm watching Unbelievable on Netflix right now. Been binge watching it and I'm actually going to watch it all night until I'm done. <laughs> it's so good. Um, I really shouldn't be watching this though. I already can't sleep at night, but out of the blue, you'll be unbelievably blessed. Um, but I'm also getting masculine energies flowing to you out of the blue as well lots and lots of things on this car combination yep um wolf i'm getting wolf mm -hmm. maybe you're a wolf but out of the blue you're going to be unbelievably blessed. And then the wolves are going to come out to play as well. Masculine energies will be flowing to you. Um, yeah, so let's just leave it at that. Lots of masculine energy here. But we're talking about the feminine, which is not crazy because I had one reading where the masculine was now the feminine, the feminine was now the masculine. Interesting. Remember I said that wolf energy, I wasn't getting... Um, I wasn't getting positive vibes from that, no lie. Let me look up that spirit animal because we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Swords. So I'm trying to steal your fortune. So it's like feminine working out of the blue, you're blessed. Then all of a sudden, you know, you have masculine energies flowing to you. But I'm getting wolf energy here too, as if someone is trying to steal your fortune. So first thing's gonna come is the work and the fortune. Then out of the blue, you're unbelievably blessed, but also here comes out the wolves to play to steal your fortune. And I think I keep getting these readings. I really keep getting this. I'm, it's a warning, it really is. Let's look up. Well, you know, it's not always a bad thing. I consider myself a wolf. It's, you know, to me, it's like standing in your power, not being a part of the pack, leading the pack, and um, not being a sheep, you know, making your own way, not being, you know, um, not being shaped by society or shaped by societal standards and cultures making your own way asking questions and being a leader and leading your own life not being a slave but honestly i'm getting something negative from this yeah i love how wolves have control over their minds and their lives but to me this is something negative it's like a negative aspect or the reverse aspect of the wolf which could be self-indulgence or almost like vulture-like energy coming out to take things um, that aren't yours. Let's just leave it there. Come to take things that aren't yours. So be aware of someone trying to steal your fortune as you're, when these blessings come in, 
protect yourself. You know, my dreams have been telling me to protect myself. You protect yourself as well as you receive this fortune because the vultures, the wolves will come out to play, but not the ones, not the good wolves like you and I, the people who stand our ground and, and our power and, and strength and um, lead, but the ones who want to take from you, take things that don't belong to them. And it's going to be an emperor. Yep. Interesting. King of Wands and the Emperor. All fire sign energy. Um. So you're going to have an emperor come your way. But we know that multiple emperors are going to be coming our way. Um, I don't think the King of Wands is a bad one though. But just beware of the people that flows to you. Beware of the emperors that flow to you. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But while you will have one that's your spiritual partner, you have those with good intentions, you're also going to have those with bad intentions. And by bad intentions, it's just like only there for the fortune. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, only there to cause problems. So the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the world, full circle, and we have the five of wands. Again, so one of these wolves are going to come out to play. They're going to, uh, are they fighting for you or are they fighting for your fortune? Are they fighting for us or are they fighting for our possessions, the things that we're about to possess? My hair, come on, man. Be nice to me today. I'm sweaty. Be nice to me today here anyway so it's like coming full circle and and feeling trapped because so many people want to you you know the world is in your hands we know that the feminine is on top of the world the feminine is extremely less come full circle i'm just completing this spiritual journey it's like running a lap we're, we're running a lap on a spiritual journey you know how you're on a treadmill and it's that circle around the treadmill telling you how far you're alone we're, we're, we're almost back here and then when we get here, it's the red, the blessings come in and it's showering down on us. The blessings showering down on us in our career, in love, in career, in finances, just blessed all along. But what it means to be blessed in a romantic way, influx of people coming towards you at the same time again. This is a story that is repeating itself. Um, and it makes you feel trapped because... Again, you know somebody's trying to steal your fortune. You know some of them don't have good intentions, but you don't know which one doesn't have good intentions. And we're going to ask some questions this time. You know, one wants union. They all want union with you. You're, you're blessed, extremely blessed. They all want union with you. But you got to know which one wanted for the right reasons and which one wanted for the wrong reasons. Look at this. Commitment, second conversions. Oh, God, this is amazing. You can't, ooh, look, passion for purpose right under there. Blessings of Al Hakim, the impossible made possible, the lover and the beloved. Like, th it goes on and on. It goes, passion for purpose, blessings of Al Hakim, the impossible made possible, the lover and the beloved. This is all for you, feminine. This is all for us. But we have commitment and sacred convergence coming together as a union with your masculine and feminine energies internally and externally but in a partnership but you know the devil wants to get in a, the opposition wants to stop that but you can't let the opposition stop that and you have to you're gonna have to use your intuition heavy feminine dang i did not mean to drop all that but i'll take all these as and you know and start a new deck sorry i keep ending two of, two of cups on the bottom of the deck of course making a decision but um okay what do we have here ay, 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 ay. look at this it's like i'm playing spades <laughs> got all the cards in my hand ready to play anyway it's taking up for yourself standing your ground yes all of these people are going to come to you at once all of this is opportunities flowing to you at once you know that the opposition is one of them you know that the opposition is in the midst of it causing confusion and chaos and drama so that to keep the sacred convergence from happening but you know you want to be one with your spiritual partner you want to be one with god you want both of you to stand in your power as a power couple twin flames are power couples by default 
spiritual matches power couples a powerful by themselves but as a couple even more powerful it's three as one you have one what is that oh my god i have to say it. it's a scripture it's like um twofold one is easily broken twofold something but three or something twofold or three for a cold cord <sighs> Yes, Ecclesiastes 4.12. And though a man might prevail against one who is alone, two will withstand him. And a three-four cold is not quickly broken. This is what this is about, people. And I want to say that again. Ecclesiastes 4.12. And though one may be overpowered, two can resist. Moreover... Sorry, though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. And a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. You know, three as one. You as a feminine and masculine energy becoming whole, whole by yourself. Where is this? The world. You complete by yourself with your masculine and feminine energies. Coming with your masculine, your spiritual partner, um, who is also complete with his or her masculine and feminine energies. Coming back into the Holy Trinity with the Creator. So it's like you, it's like Isis, Osiris, and Horus all together. G you know, um, the Creator, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, all in one. It's like the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, it's the Shekinah. It's all coming together, all in one. And I just mixed a whole bunch of stuff together. But it's like all in one, coming back together um, with a creator as it should be being in your power as a chosen one being in your power as a twin flame Of course, you're gonna have opposing forces that want to get in the way of that Especially when it's about to happen. So stay in your ground Make the right decision stay in your ground, but no, this is a good thing. It's just things trying to get in the way of it Yep, okay. Oh, yes. 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 How can I do this? All right, let's start here magician and the nine of swords again we already know quickly manifesting at the same time everything manifesting at the same time causing confusion you know love offers of emotional fulfillment coming together with soulmate partners and people just offering you emotional fulfillment and happiness you want to be emotionally fulfilled you want to be happy but we know um you can't have all of them, so you have to choose one, and it's a burden. Offers coming in. So many that it's a fucking burden. It's like, I, I don't even want to ask why does it have to happen like this. It's crazy how life happens. You ever heard people who say, when you don't have a girlfriend or boyfriend, nobody says anything to you, but as soon as you get one, everybody in your inbox. It's like, come on, guys. Like, all these offers coming in is a burden to me. And I don't need the burden. But it's a part of the journey of coming together. It's all of the journey of coming together in a committed sacred conversions with your masculine and feminine energy. Yeah, it's sacred. This is sacred. Of course you're going to have opposing forces trying to get it away. It's sacred. Man. Wow. That's just... Whew, child. Are y'all ready for the drama? I'm almost scared to pick up this erotic deck because last time I picked it up, the masculine was super horny and I caught all those. I get it. Oh, do I want to use this one right now? I'll, I'll use it. Anyway, anything else here? Something is telling me not to use this. I'm not going to use it. Sorry, guys. Not today. Something was telling me not to use it. Oh, what is my... I'm feeling something. I'm sorry, guys. What am I feeling? Come on. All right, these just came in my head. I'll use... Monday, Mystic Monday card deck. 
But guys, 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 I'm, I'm just ready for this to manifest so I can stop channeling it and live through it and decisions can be made and we can be on to the next phase, on to the next group of people to help them come into union with their masculine and feminine. Because man, it's like we're at the, we're almost to union. Why did this drop? King of Queen of Cups just dropped. We're going to pull it off. All right, so it's like. It's time to come together. It's time for this to manifest so that we can move on towards the next phase. I'm enjoying life right now. Um, enjoying my peace. Enjoying um, watching Netflix, you know, with no future. Um, worries or commitments. So, yeah. But we know what's about to happen. Still talking about competition. Oh, yes. High Priestess with uh, Five of Swords. Spirit is saying, follow your intuition. When this happens, when the masculines, I hope I'm not giving you anxiety with how I have these cards. When these masculines come to, towards you, follow your intuition. It's going to lead you to the right direction. Yep. Look at that. Look at that third eye. Let me put it in a circle. You know. Follow that. It's going to lead you to the right person. Follow your intuition. <sighs> hey, Ashley, when this happens for you, no man will not be taking all those cards. Oh, no. Taking all of them up and putting them right back. I just dropped so many cards, guys. Same cards, though. Same cards. Making a decision. A power moment. Justice, Three of Swords, everything about to manifest during Libra season. It's Libra season, really, now things are moving into the sign of Libra. What is today? The 20th. We can expect this stuff to start uh, manifesting very soon. I've been channeling this for like a month, over a month. Like, it's time. What is this? I'll take both of the, well, all three of these. And the hanged, yep, on the bottom of the hanged woman. Okay, so we have the hanged woman, we have the fool, we have strength, and we have the queen of pentacles. The strength card keeps coming, guys. You know what? I had a dream. I had a dream that... The lion came out of the cage. And I don't know why, but Jordan was in this dream too. But the lion came out of the cage and I I was petting it almost like this. Like from, I was petting it. You know, I was a little scared too. And then it turned around and it sat in front of me, almost like it was protecting me. But I still had a little fear in my dream. But I was just petting it from behind. It didn't want me to pet it. And it just looked back like it didn't want me to pet it. But I still pet it again and it walked away. It, it went back under the cage. But it was almost like protection. I don't know, guys. I, I don't know. Maybe this is saying you're protected. The strength card, you're protected. Maybe this is saying don't worry. Have faith because you're protected. So I don't want to scare anybody. If I'm scaring you with... You know, the opposition coming towards you. And I just think it made me emotional a little bit. I'm feeling a little emotion. Have faith. You're protected. There's nothing to worry about. Nothing to fear. You got this. You know the answers you seek are within. The answers you seek are within. You're, you're in tune with spirit. You're in the cosmic flow, the energetic flow of the universe. You got this. You are already one within yourself. You're one with God. So don't worry. You got this. Go within. Do whatever you have to do to make the right decision. Then we have Queen of Pentacles. I'm feeling heart chakra from this. Maybe balance your chakras. Maybe stay in tune with your heart chakra. What, who nurtures you? Who, nurture, who nurtures you as a person? Who will nurture a partnership? Who will give you what you need from 
a partner. But stay in the flow. You got this. Yep, you got this. Let me pull some more. See what else Spirit has to say. Spirit is just telling us, like, have faith. Spirit is telling us these cards and got all kind of... I'm not taking reversals because I didn't let this deck get... Uh, it's not. It's just a couple from the bottom. But Spirit is telling us have faith. Spirit is telling us... Um, don't worry, Spirit is telling us, is warning us of what's to come. There is a reason why these readings come out the way that they do. Spirit is warning us for a reason. Because the opposition is coming our way. And Spirit wants to prepare us for the opposition. Maybe you decide to end it all and be alone. With the Dove card and the Hermit. But I don't think that's the, I can't tell you what's the answer. I know what I've been doing this entire time. I, you know, I've been in hermit mode. This, this Almost this entire spiritual journey, I've had my times where I, you know, thought I was, it was time to come together with the masculine energy that I thought was my masculine, could possibly be my twin flame. Um, but, you know, we've been in hermit mode, some of us, for the duration of this spiritual journey. Um, so, to put, to stay in hermit mode, I don't know if that's the answer. But some of you could make the decision just to end it with them all and be single because some of them are the app and you don't want to, you don't know who's the opposition until you figure out which one it is that you want. You may decide to be single. Yep. Ten, ten of Pentacles. Should I take these guys? I guess I will. It's like this one. I think I'll just, I'll take all of them. There's so many cards. In the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. We have Queen of Cups, the Sun, Six of Cups came out again, Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Hmm. Yep. We already know Knights are going to be fighting for us. Um, ready to enter the new phase of life. I'm ready to fight for it. So you may decide to be single or you may not decide, you may decide to end it all, but they're still going to fight for you because they're ready to enter the new phase of life. So you may decide to be single for a while, but this person from the past loves you. This Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups, this soulmate connection could be a twin flame soulmate, um, but this Ace of Cups combination with the Six of Cups, they love, 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 love you. And... They're not going to let you go. So, I don't know. You may decide to be single, but that's not going to stop them from fighting for you. They're ready to manifest a connection that's emotionally fulfilling. Maybe you are too. Who doesn't want to manifest a connection that is that gives them energy, that brings back the vitality in their lives and emotional fulfillment? Who doesn't want that? So you may decide to be single, but I don't know how long that's going to last because people are still going to fight for you. Maybe that's why this is Nine of Swords is here. Because it's like, man, I can't even be single. People still fighting over me. Then we have the Judgment, Four of Pentacles, and Justice. I, I was getting um, Four of Swords there too. I was getting um, Marriage vibes from that judgment card but I wasn't gonna say it but the fact that it's with justice and it's with um four of pentacles yeah princess of swords I don't know I might end it here but maybe I'll keep going ready to hold on to you but I think with um Yes, ready to get married, ready to hold on to you, ready to make it official with the judgment and the four of pentacles. Um, but what I'm also getting here is fairness. Going within and make a decision that's just fair. If you're a Libra like me, we you know, we like fairness. So it's like equal give and take in a relationship, equal give and take in partnership, emotional fulfillment, but you also want to make a fair decision. You want to be fair. I don't know. I guess that's an approach for some people to take. Just want to be fair. I get it. Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles coming out again. 
Also, who can you work with? Who can you take with you on this next level as it pertains to career, as it pertains to purpose, as it pertains to work? Who fits in your vision? This is a good approach. Maybe this is spiritual advice. Who fits? First, it was saying follow your intuition. It was saying who gives you emotional fulfillment, who, you know, fulfills you as a person, what's fair, and who can you work with? Who fits in your vision for life? Who fits in your purpose? Who fits in your career? Who fits in this next phase of life with you? That's a good way to look at it. Six of swords. I knew that wanted to go. You okay, Lamar? I feel like I hear something from my side. Three of swords, six of swords, the empress. Yep. What is the next phase? Who can you see yourself transitioning with? Who can you see yourself creating with? Who can you see yourself moving on to the next phase with? Who can you see yourself procreating with? Who can you see yourself vacationing with? <laughs> Who do you love? Who do you love? Honestly, for this Three of Swords, let me ask Spirit what this Three of Swords is. Spirit, what's this Three of Swords? Let's see if I can get it with. Because um, Three of Swords, I always feel like it's just saying that it's Libra season. So let's see what just blew out. Princess of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. New beginnings. Um, the higher font. Page of Pentacles in the Hierophant. We're gonna leave the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. What is that trying to be seen? And the Magician. Interesting. Interesting. All these reverses in this deck that I am. Whatever. Emperor at the bottom of the deck. We're gonna leave it there. Choosing the Emperor. But Three of Swords, I'm just attuning to Libra season. Um, I think this needs to just happen soon. I, I really am. I'm not getting disappointed from here. Um, I just think this is saying it needs to happen soon. And we have the higher font and the page of Pentacles, Princess of Pentacles. Um, things manifesting during Libra season and, and union manifesting during Libra season. And you needing to be in tune with your third eye in, in the flow with your intuition and energetic flow of the universe. Making sure that you're at a place of peace where you can communicate with spirit and make the right decisions. As it pertains to career, as it pertains to union, because it's all about to happen for you pretty soon, really quickly. And spirit, I think, is wants us to make decisions, doesn't want us to take our time with these decisions because we have work to do. Your partnership comes together for a reason. Everybody isn't out here being one with themselves. It's, you know, there is a scripture that says, let the dead bury their dead. I call people zombies. It's a lot of zombies out here. Just just out here thinking they're living, but they're not living. They're the walking dead. Zombies. Um, there's not a lot of people here that are enlightened and spiritually connected and who have been blessed with more life. I read an oracle card today and said, you have been blessed with more life. How fucking amazing is that? But it's for a reason. It comes with responsibility. So when we're blessed with more life, we're blessed with life and, and enlightenment. We're here for others. We're here to serve others, leading them to enlightenment so that they can no longer be zombies and they can come alive as well to the life that they were created to live and be one with the creator, one with the universe, one with God. So when you and your divine partner comes together and you're, you're enlightened ones and you're enlightened together, it's for work. So if you make a decision not to come together with your divine partner and remain single when all of this happens, I'm not saying that's the wrong thing to do, but I'm saying you're you, you're needed and your partnership is needed. So as long as you're not together, it's pushing back the work that you both were created to do, the light work that you were created to do together for the world, for the zombies, to bring them back to life. Um, you would understand this. If you're an enlightened one, you understand what I'm saying. If you're not an enlightened one, you may not understand what I'm saying. But that's, it's not for you. So anyway, yes, um, make a decision that's good for you. That's thought out, is well thought out. But don't take too long to do it because you have work to do. You and your partner have work to do. 
Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments. Um, let me see if I can shout some people out. If you're still here, I know I might start shouting you guys out in the beginning of the video. Deidre Kelly, thank you for your comment. Miss Strawberry, 1050, as usual. Ooh, that comment you had that I, I claim I receive and I claim that, honey. I feel it and I receive it and it's certainly confirmation. Thank you so much, Strawberry, 1050. Catalea. Um, who do we have? Red Lotus Tarot. Even though you didn't agree with what I said, thank you for your comment. Hawk the Gangster, you didn't agree, but thank you for your comment as well. Louisa, thank you for your comments. Everybody, Empress Rose, you know, thank you all for your comments. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the likes, subscribes, comments, shares. You are appreciated. I wish you all love. I wish you all light, and I wish you more life. Peace. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit AshleyGillard.com. That's A-S-H-L-E-Y-G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D.com to book a tarot reading. You can book a business reading for your business or business idea with an action plan where I'll detail exactly spiritual advice on what you need to make it a success. Or you can book a personal reading with any question that you may have. Again, thanks for your support. I wish you love, I wish you light, and I wish you more life. Peace.